guys, welcome to Shine with Njoki Kamanja Kedhi. Yes, we are on the second episode of this year and we are going to talk about effects of marital foundations with one of the favorite, as I always tell you, Teresa Masharia. She's going to educate us on it. Welcome. Uh, hi. Mad <laughs> oh, how do you say hi? Sorry. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so today we are talking about effects of marital foundations. Yeah. Maybe you can explain to us what you mean by effects of marital foundations. Now, let me start with a foundation is something the the the, the solid uh, matter on which anything is built. Yeah, you know, and the foundation of marriage is just like the physical foundation. Mm -hmm. And let me start by explaining: anything you build, its strength is not dependent on what you put up. Yeah, it depends on the foundation that was first laid. Mm -hmm. For instance, if I'm building a 10-story building, mm -hmm. then uh, what will determine whether I can go 10 stories and the building is firm and strong yeah. will be the foundation, True. how I have laid it, mm -hmm. the strength of it. Yeah. And so now, even in marriage, some of the foundations, and I'm sorry, today we are going to go more spiritual than psychological, yeah? yeah? Mm -hmm. Because... Uh, some of us are really putting some very expensive things on some very faulty foundations. Mm -hmm. You know, if the foundation, let me go again physical, if the foundation of this building is faulty, mm. if it is light, then it, even if I put zile uh, mawe mm. you know, those heavy yeah. rocks, if I put on them, no matter how much I invest, on the walls, mm -hmm. it will come down. Yeah. The building will come down because mm -hmm. the foundation is not good enough. Yeah. So some of us are starting off our relationships on a very bad foundation, and then we want to put madoidos on them. Mm. We we committed adultery. This is an adulterous relationship. Started in the streets. Uh, yeah, <laughs> this is a, a relationship that was a one night stand <laughs> that turned <laughs> into a pregnancy, Where? and now we want to put madoidos on it, pumping up the, the weddings, mm. costing millions of money, yeah. and then we want to go and invest in what uh, what they say, the, 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 the what nights, yeah? the date nights. Date nights. <laughs> Those are good things, but you're laying them on, on the a bad head. foundation. Mm -hmm. And let me say this, Njoki, mm. that most marital problems people are experiencing today, mm. maybe even mine, yeah. <laughs> are more foundational than they are relational. People have been focusing Funny on... how long should people know each other? Because now, kama tulijuana one night, tukasikia, sisi tukosawa. Munaeza juana one night, na kama mlijuana one night, na asubui mkaenda kwa wazazi, mm. mkabarikiwa, mm. mkaenda kwa pasta, mkabarikiwa, mm. na mkawana. Mm. The foundation is right. Mm -hmm. Lakini kama mlijuana one mm. night, and you started in the bedroom, instead of on the altar mm. if you started in the bedroom instead of at your at the feet of your parents mm. then the foundation is wrong because you know mm -hmm. there are several authorities that cover your marriage mm -hmm. the first authority that covers your marriage and that's where it all begins mm -hmm. is the parental authority yeah you know when when people are having weddings eh, your mother gives you uh, your parents, eh, as the girl, yeah. they give you a bed, they give you itarorose in our yeah, culture, suitcase. in the culture where we come from. Mm. They give you uh, itarorose, they give you kitchenware, they yeah. give you all that stuff. You know what that is? Mm. It is symbolic of an authority giving you now yeah. the authority to go and operate in the office of a wife. Wow. Yeah? Mm. The parents on the other side show they have accepted you by retaliating mm -hmm. and giving you more kitchen equipment. Mm. So there is a wife who is an authority in the office of a wife mm -hmm. that has given you authority to go and operate as a wife. On the other side, there is an authority of a wife on the side of your husband that is opening the door of that oh, office yeah. of a wife mm -hmm. in her family mm -hmm. to operate as a wife in that office. Sasa wewe ulipitia kwa mafefe. Under whose authority are you operating as a wife? Five children later. 
under whose authority? I see them on Facebook saying I I met my I am married, I have five children, this man has never taken me to his family and now he's cheating. What do I do? And I'm like, what do you do? <laughs> the foundation has spoken. Mimi Sijui Bibi, the office of a wife mm. in both families. Mm. In the especially on the side of your husband, mm. he's still reading vacant. Hakuna mtu amekuota rice. Hakuna mtu amekubariki kuwa kwa hiyo nyumba. And I'm not saying this can only be done through wedding per se, yeah, yeah. but through the blessings of the parents, mm -hmm. you know? So that's the first covering of your you're given symbols of authority. Mm. Unalala kwa kitanda ya mwanaume na ruhusa ya nani? You're not supposed to oh, sleep on that bed wangu. until you are authorized by your parents. And that's why, as a symbol of authority, mm. during weddings, you are given beds. But nowadays, people are not even giving beds because <laughs> most, most people are even giving bahashas. What? That's, a symbol, that's a symbol of an authority authorizing you. Now go. I have allowed you to go and operate as a wife in every capacity. Mm. In the bedroom, Unapewa kitanda. Mm. U, in the kitchen, unapewa symbols of authority. Unapewa sazingine viti. We are giving you a home to go and operate as a wife. But it, for some of these marriages, the foundation as far as authorities are concerned are wrong. They are off. They are not there. Mm. So you try date nights. You try coming for counseling to Teresa's office. Vacations. Yeah, just, yeah you, you try <laughs> vacations. Mm. You try communication. Mm. You try, and all these things are good. Yeah. But on what foundation are we building them? Because and if the foundation is wrong, this generation, we don't want to hear that. I know. That's the problem. I know. Because uh, I have seen people who, here in Nairobi, mm. they are married, they have children, and then the next time they appear to their parents, they appear with two kids. Mm -hmm. And the I mom is like, who are these? Yeah. I am married. <laughs> yeah. So the foundations are what are hurting us. Your, mm. your father there is crying. He has mm. never come to my place to say. And then you expect that he mnakula mnalala mna. The foundation is wrong. Mm. Yeah. So it, the, I, I talked about three types of authorities that cover your marriage. Mm -hmm. The parental authorities. Yeah. You have to receive blessings mm. from both sides. Yeah. Parents are important authorities where your marriage is concerned. Mm. If you, and let me talk to the girls out there who are fighting with their and mothers in law. Them and talk your mother-in-law. Especially when you are our director. Talk to them. Our <laughs> mothers-in-law are authorities in marriages. You don't fight with that woman. You fight with that woman, you're fighting against your own marriage. So marriage is covered by parental authorities mm -hmm. first. Mm -hmm. I know there are pastors who tell you, go and get consent from your parents before I come and wed you. Those are people who have been revealed that yeah. by the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. if your parents have not authorized you, that marriage will suffer. The other uh, uh, cover of your marriage when we are authorities before, are before we go to the next one yeah let's say maybe i've been introduced to my parents in law mm -hmm. and they don't like me maybe because i'm from a certain tribe yeah or maybe they wanted maybe to mm -hmm. you know they have many preferences yeah. and then they tell the son sisi who you are to mjui mm -hmm. now what should i do should i just quit that relationship <sighs> now that one we leave to to your dis discretion eh? mm. but i do believe sometimes parents Start off that way, but don't settle until you have won the favor mm. or approval and acceptance of those parents. Yeah. I, I know I have a cousin who whose parents just said apana, mimi muluya kwangu apana, mm. and they never even came for the wedding. In fact, where the wedding was being done, <laughs> the father was riding his bicycle taking milk to the kiosks on the <laughs> wedding day. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. But a few years later, because this girl is such yeah. a good girl, mm. she kept going there and telling mommy, I apologize that my husband never listened to you, yeah. but bless us. Mm. The mother would look at the favors she's being done, and one time the mother-in-law fell very sick. Mm. And it is this Luya woman she rejected that came to take care of her. Oh. Do you know that woman is the one who organized other women and told them, I want you to take me to go 
mm. and bless give gifts daughter. and bless my daughter-in-law. Mm. So you have to keep working on it yeah. until mm -hmm. you win the acceptance. It doesn't have to be the love. Yeah. You know, they may not love you, but can they accept you? Yeah. That at least this is my uh, my son's choice. Yeah. And can they accept you with an open heart and bless the marriage? Yeah. Mm. Because there is a way of humbling yourself to an authority up to a point that this authority sees anyway. Luckily, and that is why, <laughs> that is why, and let me tell you, because she's an authority, perekana na yeye tu, ukijua na wewe unaza. Isi deni ya ziendi binguni, binguni tunaenda kuimba na malaika. <laughs> Some of these things we will pay here where we are. Yeah, yeah so another cover. Another covering of your marriage yeah. is the spiritual authorities. Mm. I came from a Presbyterian background. I have my pastors, you yeah. know. I had my pastors and I had been taught on the right way to enter into a marriage, isn't mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. So I skip Toroka into a come we stay marriage. My spiritual authorities are left disappointed because what is it I did not do? You know, and it hurts. You know, some of these girls don't realize. I have watched, I'm not a pastor myself, <laughs> yeah. but I have seen the agony in some of my pastors eyes as they have asked what is it we are not doing with these children yeah. because they have taught you the right way to get into marriage mm -hmm. but you decide sweet to pitie kamlango kanyuma and i even had an argument uh, with one of my sons um, saying where is a wedding in the bible <laughs> <laughs> where? Where? Yes. Yeah. where is the Bible? Uh, uh, the wedding in the it's Bible. Kwa ile akana of Galilee. Ah, kwa hivyo umejua moja. Ah, sasa hiyo ndio inaweza kuwa haikuwa lazima. It was just a tradition. Yeah, but we also saw that when Isaac was was brought, no Jacob, mm -hmm. there was a ceremony that was conducted before he was sent to go and sleep with the one he was yeah. tricked with to yeah. be Leah, mm. uh, to be Rachel, mm. but was Leah, isn't it? Yeah. Those were weddings in the Bible. Mm. And because that is the tradition of the Christian community, mm -hmm. that your blessings, uh, your marriage is blessed by spiritual authorities. You know, a spiritual authority stands in the place of God yeah. before you and stands before God in your place. Uh, there was a pastor who was saying, mm -hmm. uh, if you... You, you are in a come with stay marriage. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make sense when you have issues in your marriage, now you run to your pastor. That is. And that one hit me hard because um, there, are, there are people who are suffering because now if you go to your pastor, he doesn't even know your husband because mm -hmm. maybe he doesn't try to And you know, a marriage no, no. that is founded with all those authorities not in place, that is a marriage founded on lust. That is a marriage founded know, on lies and deception. Baby. That is a marriage founded on immorality. <laughs> no, no, let, I know truth is painful. Yeah. And you know, it's not only striking that way. It could mm. also be striking me. Yeah? Yeah. Because I cannot sit here and say <laughs> I am judging <laughs> from... <laughs> this is the judgment seat. <laughs> no, but the truth yeah. is that that is what the word yeah. calls mm. what we did to get into our marriages. It is immorality. Do you have to have like a wedding, a gown? It nini? doesn't have to be expensive. Yeah. You just need to go with a witness. Mm. First, get the approval of your parents. Yeah. Those are the first authorities. Eh? Mm -hmm. Then go and tell your pastor, we want to get married. Mm. We don't want to get into this sinfully. Mm. We want to get married and we, wa we don't have the resources. So we want you to wed us. Mm. A wedding can happen in an office. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can go before that altar of God. You, your witnesses, maybe your parents, and the priest. Yeah. And it is it is blessed of God. And then minutes later you are married. You are married. And then go do all those other things that we rush to do. Yeah. That end up making us miserable in the marriage. And then the what, what about now? You have already found yourself in this come we stay. Mm-hmm. Or you started as a wild night stand, you haven't even gone to the parents. Mm -hmm. What do you do now? Foundations now that can you've be known made the truth. Right. Foundations can be made right. Mm. Remember David? Eh? David in the Bible, mm. the wife who was to give birth to his heir, mm. the foundation of that marriage was completely off. Yeah. It was completely bad because first she was an 
another man's wife. Eh? Yeah. And then secondly, she was, uh, she, she he, David had to kill the husband eh, mm -hmm. to cover the sin they had committed. Yeah. So you would think God would shun at that kind of relationship. Even children born out of this relationship mm -hmm. have no future, you know. But it is from this relationship that the next king of Israel, ordained yes. of God, yeah. came from. Mm. So there's a way we can go down and repent. Yeah. Yeah? Repentance is the way to go. And that's why I said I cannot stand and judge. Probably maybe I'm also in a marriage like that. Mm. That you're trying everything that you want to, you, you, you can do to make this work. But it is not working. Mm. You've tried communication. You've tried the date nights. You've tried the counselors. And still nothing is working. Mm. Could it be that your foundation is wrong? Yeah. Yeah, because for, uh, if you read the book of Romans chapter 13, it talks about authority. And you know what the Bible says? That authorities are ordained of God. To protect you. Protect you from what? From the attacks of the enemy. Mm. So they are a covering for you mm. to protect you from anything that would interfere, would corrupt, would attack mm -hmm. your relationship. Yeah. So when you're not right with those authorities, then you open your marriage to any attacks. Yeah. Whether spiritual, even physically. You hear girls saying that... Uh, I'm seeing this married. Oh, you, you, con you maybe oh, confront them. Eh, una, una confront you ya wababas. Una fanya ni na uyo mbabas. No, he's not even legally married. What does that mean? That there is an authority that has not covered you. At our gender call, the guy told me he's not even introduced. He's just there for the kids. Yes. There's no covering for that marriage. So anyone, like I said, the office is reading vacant. vacant. So anybody can come in and go out of that relationship. Mm. So for you to get a proper covering of your marriage, mm. you have to be right with all those three authorities. Mm -hmm. So if you started parental, your parental, spiritual, spiritual, spiritual authorities, mm -hmm. and government authorities. Indio hile tunaenda kwa AG. Si kwa AG. A certificate hata hile unapewa kwa kanisa comes from the government. Yeah. That comes from the government. Mm. So it is showing you that all these authorities, liars, they come yeah. together, you know. Yeah. It, it, the, the, the government provides the certificate. Mm -hmm. The pastor officiates the wedding. Yeah. The parents bless the union. Wow. Yeah. Hey. I have, I have, I have, I have been thinking. Yes. Is it Mambo's wedding? Sazing in they are just too much. And you know, if that because wedding, I have seen, I have seen even people get doing their weddings at forty at 50 but there's something I, I wanted to ask uh somebody was saying you see right now if you're not legally married mm -hmm. even according to the government mm -hmm. if the spouse uh, unfortunately god forbid dies your children are not protected from anything the in-laws could come and take the land take the property and there's nothing you can do exactly about it what i was saying that you don't have the right authorities covering your institution so are you Actually, in a marriage. Uko tu. And that's how unasikia mtu, munazikana, unambiwa wena watoto wako, we, joki na ihesi yaku. Kwa enu. Kai. Mau hata mujaekelea, munambiwa muwekere haraka mtoke. There's somebody whispering in your ear. Na ucho ukimaliza wenda kwa enu. Yes. Because why? They don't even know you. They don't recognize you. But if people had come to your place with bananas swinging them, mm. then how can they ruka you? They can't. They can't. Yeah, so it is important. And some of the parents' cries are the ones that are affecting some of our children. Yeah. yeah some of our, the barrenness issues that you're seeing. Mm. You're trying to get yourself a child and your father is there saying, Ni msomesha hiyo yote. Afwa apitie mrako ya nyuma. Eh, na kimutu hata kijareta hata nini. <laughs> Yes. That, part, that is an authority making noise behind the scenes. Actually, I've said what about blessings alcohol. do you expect? In these dowries, like in our culture, mm -hmm. they ask for alcohol. Mm -hmm. Could that affect even your marriage and maybe your children, your generation? You know what I tell people? Mm -hmm. Some of these things, you allow the Holy Spirit to guide you. Mm. Because... If you're going cultural, some people say, as we are born again, we are not doing this because we are born again. Yeah. But what you're doing is a cultural thing. Yeah. <laughs> and this is what culture demands. Yeah. So if you're going to do culture, mm. then do what uh, 
it asks you it to asks do. you to do mm. uh, of course there are other things that when it comes to sacrifice Spices and what, yeah, yeah. and even for that alcohol, sometimes it doesn't have to be given in form of alcohol, yeah. pombe, mm. uh, you know, Tasca. Uh, oh, sorry for <laughs> mentioning the brand, <laughs> cut that. Okay. You know, uh, it doesn't have to come as pombe, pombe. You mm. know, sometimes it comes in form of money, money. but it is a cultural, mm. uh, it is a cultural way of doing things, yeah, yeah. and this is how. Uh, because if you go, we don't want to go into culture then because we'll be biased towards yeah, our yeah, own culture. Yeah, yeah. But every culture has a Demands. way of doing mm. things. Eh? Yeah. If you're going to do to go the cultural way, then do the, uh, what culture demands, yeah. even if you will negotiate for it to be done yeah. in a way that uh, is agreeable to your religion. Yeah. If it is sacrifices, there are ways you can talk to the elders and tell them, this is what I believe and I don't know where this blood is going. So mm. let's do this yeah. instead of those goods. Yeah. Uh, that are being sacrificed. Mm. Let's forsake this and maybe do something else. Yeah. So there is a way you can negotiate because it it is not cast on stone. Eh? Yeah. But it is important that uh, those things that uh, pertain the covering of your marriage are done. Mm. Because when that foundation is right, then things will, will work out right. Because even a big wedding, and foundations are not only to do with authority. Mm. They have to do with how you started. Like I started, how did you start off this marriage? <laughs> Kwakitanda, that's where the marriage started. If it started on a bed, even physically, you'll not be able to trust one another because there'll be that thing of. Ni wangapi amezwa ni fanyanga hivyo. Na kama alikubali kufanya hivyo na mimi, how yeah. many other people? So even trust issues in that relationship. Yeah. You see, because the foundation is. But if mm. you uh, you meet a girl who had stood, and I encourage the girls who are watching us, mm. if. As a girl, you stood and said, I do not stand for this. This is what I stand for. Mm. The boundaries, this is what my boundary is as a Christian girl. Mm -hmm. I will not have sex it's to a man marriage. who is not my, my husband, mm. declared by law. Then, that man will know. Uh, the way this girl was stubborn, the way this girl yeah. has principles, even within the marriage, she will be able to trust. Her. If you had a man who was telling you, I'm a believer, I cannot have sex with you until we have been declared husband and wife. Mm. Then there is no reason for you to doubt that the same principles he had as a young man, he will uphold into your marriage. marriage. So the trust is uh, established. But mm. if that is not in place, even stop talking about the foundation, spiritual foundation in itself, mm. Mm. even the fact that there were there will be trust issues that will go on in that marriage, yeah. regardless. Mm. Adultery. What Naskia people loosely talking at here. Yeah, if it doesn't work, I'm still young. I can walk out and go and get married again. Do you know what that relationship, the Bible calls it adultery. adultery. The Bible says that you can leave someone as a result of infidelity. infidelity. But Jesus said, that these laws were made by Moses, not by God, mm. because of the hardness of your heart. Mm. So in other words, Jesus was saying that if you, it were not for the hardness of your heart, you are to forgive and maybe try and make things work yeah. in this marriage. Mm. Because, listen, the Bible again says in the book of 1 Corinthians, mm. I think it's chapter 7, that as a married woman, you must not leave your husband. And let me say, the Bible is not, uh, it doesn't bagua. Yeah. So when it says a woman, it works both ways. Yeah. You are not to leave your husband. And if you leave your husband, you are to remain single. For the rest of your life. Or until this man dies. And it's then you can. So what, the vows are actually what they are. Yeah. Until You are married until death. Yeah. Even if you separate, stay single I until did. the other person dies yeah. and then you can marry someone else. So if you married somebody mm -hmm. who had divorced their spouse, mm. that is adultery. So your marriage is standing on an adulterous <laughs> foundation. <laughs> that adultery will continuously speak into that marriage. Wow. There will always be issues of infidelity in that mm. marriage, in that relationship. Yeah. Yeah. Because the foundation of it is what it is. Wow. That brings me, we will talk about that, that God hates divorce. But now, they, 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 I have so many questions on that, on that phrase. 
mm-hmm. or in the Bible, God hates divorce, but we will not talk about it today. So you have heard, is your marriage in the right foundation? Is your relationship in the right foundation? I'm a Mekutana Tujana and today you want to declare yourself married. Have you gone into the right process for you to go to, to the to the marriage as, as a as a covered couple? So today I know you have learned something. Make sure that your marriage is in the marriage is in the right foundation. Thank you so much for watching this episode and thank you so much, Teresa. Thank you for, for having always, me. Yes, for always educating us. This is Shane with Njoki Kamanja Kedi. And remember, you're the light and you can shine.